Hi everyone, I got a new sewing machine. If you don't know, I I don't think I posted that video, but yeah, I got a new sewing machine. Like right, like literally like the day before I was leaving for school, but I came back home this weekend for something unrelated. But now I get to use my sewing machine and I just learned how to use it. So I'm about to make a project using this fabric that I picked up. But here's my new sewing machine. <laughs> You guys don't understand how happy I am. I'm never spending money on clothes again. Okay, that's a lie. Let me not lie. But, bro, like, y'all don't understand. Anyways, yeah, I'm about to make a project and y'all are going to come along with me. I'm back in the scene. <laughs> so here's my fabric all laid out. I bought two of these. I'm not going to tell y'all what I'm making, but I'm probably just going to trace some clothes that I already own. That's what I used to do because what? Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I forgot. I am so excited <laughs> to be making something. I forgot but I already cut out almost all my pieces. So two sleeves or front and back of the sleeves, front and back of the sleeves, the front panel, they're over there. <laughs> I mean you can see what it is now, more or less, kinda. Almost. You can almost see it. Um but I have to cut out the I have to cut out the back panel now. So yeah, the most important part of sewing is, for at least when you're working with new materials, is testing the stitch and seeing if it works for you or not. Also, before I really start, I just want to let y'all know, I didn't use a real pattern. Um, I'm not using any pins. And I'm not actually testing it. There are a lot of things I usually do when I'm sewing. But look, I just really don't feel like it. I'm really not in the mood. Like, I just want to make something. But yeah, so if this comes out wonky, janky, whatever, ugly, just know it's because I really did not prep this how how you should be prepping your projects. So if you're using this as a tutorial don't do that. This is just me making an article of clothing for fun. Oh my gosh, how did I do that? First of all, I cut these sleeves in two completely different shapes. I really should use pens, but I'm not going to. never gets old. Y'all are probably like, Keelan, that looks so bad. Okay, like, technique-wise, yeah, I agree with you. But <laughs> it's a sleeve, though! I was kind of, I was expecting this to look a lot worse. Dub. It doesn't even look that bad. <laughs> Let me try it on. I don't know how it looks on camera. Tell me, guys, does it look bad on camera? I don't. Why is this so far? But um, the reason why this was so fun for me is because when I had my other sewing machine, I only used to alter my clothes. So I used to make them smaller, bigger, alter the waist. I would never try to make my own clothes from scratch. And the first time I ever tried to make my own clothes from scratch, I broke my sewing machine. Because I tried to make um, this denim jacket, and my sewing, my old sewing machine was not built to sew denim at all. But yeah, so this is the first thing that I made. It's not that bad. It's really not that bad. I didn't use a pattern. Um, I didn't watch a tutorial. I looked up what needle and tension I should put for sewing with fleece on my sewing machine. And that's it. The rest, I just kind of did I would rate this crew neck thing I would rate this a 6 out of 10 because I really like this fabric it was really fun to make and I learned a lot 
But yeah, this is this is the crew neck. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of watching me learn how to use a sewing machine. But yeah, this is creation number one. Honestly, y'all might catch me in this. <laughs> Bye.